Hello and welcome back. It's Thursday, April 11th, first day of the new quarter, and we're beginning the seventh grade animal symposium with an animal that pretty fascinating, has some crazy looking teeth, and we're going to learn a lot more about it. Let's welcome Dimitri Sutton with the red belly piranha. Hello, I'm Dimitri Sutton. I'm doing uh, my presentation on the red belly piranha. So, So, the red-bellied piranha is about uh, 14 inches long and uh, weighs about uh, 3 pounds from face to face, like if you're looking at its face. Um, it looks tall and thin, as you can see up there, and um, from the side view it looks wide and round. And uh, the male might be slimmer um, than the female. So, and of course, it's named after its red belly. So, classification. The kingdom is Animalia, which is basically all animals, not plants. And the uh, phylum, I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, is a cord cordata or something like that. And it's basically all fish, bony or cartily. cartily so the class is um, that. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. I don't. I couldn't f find out what it meant. The order is uh, that, and they're all just uh, ray-finned fish. And the family is uh, contains like tropical and freshwater fish, which a red-bellied piranha is of course, a tropical fish. And the and the uh, the g genus is all piranha species. It's more than just the red belly piranha. And the species is Natterae. I think that's how it's pronounced. All right. The habitat and distribution. Um. So they live in South America, but mostly like in the <coughs> Amazon. And they prefer faster moving water. And uh, they don't like they don't go in still or calm water except for a couple exceptions, which I will get to later. Reproduction. It it occurs May through June. Um, and they this is where they move to slower moving water. And the female will lay up to a thousand eggs and only ninety percent will survive. And both uh, parents will guard the guard the eggs, and once they hatch, they go on the babies go to the bottom where they can hide from any bigger predators. And um, the parents don't guard the baby piranhas after they hatch. So, yeah. lifespan: they um, live to be eight years in the wild and ten years in captivity. There's no difference between the male and female age, and they don't migrate, hibernate, or any of that stuff. So, their diet. They are omnivore, not a carnivore as most people think. They're not that, they're not as dangerous as most people think. So, they eat insects, invertebrates, and small animals, um, berries, and seaweed. Their predators are caiman which are basically small crocodiles, larger fish, and humans. And fun facts. So people have them as pets, though it is illegal in 21 states. Um, what happens sometimes is someone will release their piranha into a, like a lake or something, and then uh, people, once they start finding out this, like people come and sort of put certain chemicals in the water to get rid of the piranhas so then they don't um, I think it's uh, so they don't kill all the other species in the lake and yeah and um, people do eat red-bellied piranhas though they are very bony as you can see there and their teeth are really sharp as most of you probably have heard before so they're good for uh, weapons and tools. 
That is my works cited. If you want to know more, just look those up. And, well, the end. into their where they're uh, like laying eggs and stuff then they'll uh, they'll probably attack you because you're bothering their habitat and they're really aggressive during that season otherwise they're not th as dangerous as most people <coughs> think awesome. like if the piranhas like all the piranha species had like a college bracket like that and like they all got in a fight like to the winners like how far would this one go like compared to the piranhas I'd say this one is um, would probably go the furthest because they're uh, they're by far the most uh, feared uh, sort of freshwater fish. So they they probably. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, what is the uh, conservation status of those guys? Oh, um, I looked that up. Um, they said that it is still um to be decided. But my opinion is that the, uh, they're, they're probably increasing. So, that's just a guess. So. And then, uh, what kind of mating system do they use? Do, is there any info on that? Like, do the males, like, compete with each other? Or is it no. They just, um, basically the, the female lays the eggs and the male comes around and fertilizes them. Oh, okay. So they, they do external fertilization. <coughs> Interesting. And then, um... So you mentioned some of those predators that they have, them and the humans. Um, how big of conservation impacts do you think those things are doing? I don't. They don't affect it at all. I, I mean, that's because I mean, female lays a thousand eggs and about nine hundred survive. So yeah. So. Any other questions?